What drugs can cause digitalis toxicity if they are used together? Amiodarone, Verapamil, Quinidine. So for digitalis toxicity, in the acute setting, they mainly experience GI symptoms such as anorexia, nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. However, for chronic toxicity, they mainly experience neurological symptoms such as weakness or even blindness. What is the drug of choice for nightmares and PTSD? Prozocin. Prozocin is an alpha blocker that was initially used to treat hypertension, but now it's more commonly used to manage symptoms of BPH and nightmares associated with PTSD. What are the stimulant drugs used to treat ADHD? Methylphenidate and amphetamines. So how I remember the stimulant drugs is that they both have the letters PH in them. So methylphenidate and amphetamines. However, non-stimulants such as clonidine do not have the PH letters in their names. What drugs are safe to use in mothers with hypertension? Hydralazine, methyl dopa, labetalol, and nifedipine. So these drugs can be remembered with the mnemonic, hypertensive moms love nifedipine. So that can be a reminder of which drugs are safe to use in pregnant women with hypertension. What vaccine should patients who take eclusimab receive? They should receive a vaccine against Neisseria. Eclusimab is an antibody to C5. It prevents C5 from cleaving into C5A and C5B. Without the formation of those components, they have no MAC, and no MAC is no attack. So these patients are more susceptible to Neisseria. It's also very important to note that patients with a terminal complement deficiency should also receive this vaccine. Eclusimab is also used in the treatment of PNH, which is paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. What is the drug of choice for leishmaniasis? Sodium stipagluconate or amphotericin B. It's also important to note that leishmaniasis is transmitted by sand flies. How do you treat a beta blocker overdose? Secure the airway provide IV fluids, and give atropine. If the patient is refractory to the treatment with atropine, then give glucagon. So beta blocker overdose presents with bradycardia, hypotension, wheezing, hypoglycemia, delirium, 
seizures, and even cardiogenic shock. So it's very important to note how we manage these patients. So atropine is the first line drug, and of course we give IV glucagon, which is second line, and use if there's profound or refractory hypotension. What is the drug of choice for prophylaxis against lepsospirosis? Doxycycline. What diuretic can worsen or cause gout? Loop diuretics. What is the drug of choice for severe hypertriglyceridemia? Fibrates. What antiretroviral is recommended for neonates born to HIV positive mothers? AZT. What can be used as the medical management of prolactinomas? Dopamine agonists. So dopamine usually inhibits prolactin. So dopamine inhibitors such as carbagolin can be used. So dopamine usually inhibits prolactin. Thus, dopamine inhibitors such as carbogaline can be used. What is the drug of choice for acute viral or idiopathic pericarditis? NSAIDs and colchicine. So NSAIDs such as ibuprofen is used to manage these patients. Colchicine is given to lower the rate of recurrent pericarditis. And of note, steroids are the second line treatment for the management of these patients. What is the drug of choice for mastitis? Decloxacillin or nafcillin. So, the most common cause of mastitis is Staph aureus. So, that's the most common bug that causes it. Um, patients with mastitis present with fever and unilateral breast tenderness. It's also important to note that if a mother has mastitis, they are still encouraged to breastfeed. So, mastitis is not a contraindication. For breastfeeding. What class of drugs cause cartilage damage? Fluoroquinolone such as ciprofloxacin or levofloxacin. What drugs can be used to treat urge incontinence? So the most common drug is oxybutynin. However, there are other drugs that can also be used in the management of urge incontinence. These drugs can be remembered with the mnemonic on the darn toilet so 
The letters are highlighted with the corresponding letters of the mnemonic on the darn toilet. The most common cause or type of urinary incontinence in men is urge incontinence and it is typically caused by BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia. To learn high yield points about BPH, click this video right here or check the description for the link. What class of drugs cause teeth discoloration? Tetracyclines. So this is why patients less than 8 years old and who need to be treated for Lyme disease are given amoxicillin instead. However, for patients that are greater than 8 years old and require treatment for Lyme disease, then they are given a tetracycline such as doxycycline. What is the prophylactic management for exposure to Neisseria? Ciprofloxacin, rifampin, keftrioxone, azithromycin. So these are options for the prophylactic management of Neisseria. However, it's important to note that the ones in green are safe for patients who are pregnant. However, the ones in red are not safe for patients who are pregnant. What drugs can cause drug-induced Parkinsonism? dopamine receptor antagonists such as antipsychotics or antiemetics such as metoclopramide which has dopamine antagonist activity. If you are enjoying these high yield drug facts so far, be sure to power up the like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss any more videos like this. Which antiretrovirals cause vivid dreams? Favorins. What anti-anginal agent is used to treat chronic exertional angina refractory to conventional medical therapy? Renalazine. What are the drugs of choice for endometritis? Clindamycin and gentamicin. The drugs for endometritis can be remembered with the mnemonic ECG. Endometritis clindamycin, and gentamicin. What are the drugs of choice for chorioamnitis? Ampicillin and gentamicin. So I remember this with the mnemonic CAG. It sounds like a trinucleotide repeat, so that's how I remember it. If you want to know other high yield associations and comparisons between endometritis and choreomnitis, then be sure to click this link or check the link in the description below. What is the drug of choice for a six year old with Lyme disease?
amoxicillin. So remember that in a patient with Lyme disease, their treatment depends on their age. So if they are less than eight years old, then they are given amoxicillin because tetracyclines such as doxycycline can cause a change in color of their teeth. So for patients greater than eight years old, we give them doxycycline. How can you prevent hemorrhagic cystitis caused by cyclophosphamide? So this is very high yield. We give these patients mesna. Another important thing you can do to prevent hemorrhagic cystitis is to provide adequate irrigation of the bladder after you complete treatment with cyclophosphamide. If you liked this video, be sure to power up the like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. If you have any mnemonics to help the community remember what topics were discussed today, then be sure to leave them in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching and to continue learning more, click this video right here.